1980, a lot of things were happening in my life. I graduated high school and completed my vocational electronics study. I remember that one mode of transportation was very popular in my teenage years before I crossed over into the automobile. It was the moped. In growing up in the 1970s, mopeds were more than just a mode of transportation. They were a symbol of freedom and adventure. With their 49cc gas engines and top speeds barely breaking 30 miles per hour, these two-wheeled wonders offered a unique blend of simplicity and nostalgia and great gas mileage up to 100 miles per gallon. Mopeds were not just vehicles, they were companions on the road to independence. In this video episode, we are going to fast forward to 2024 and look at what has now replaced my 1980s moped. It's the electric bike revolution and it's in full swing. I was just alerted of a package delivery to my house. And uh oh, I think my Father's Day gift is here. Can you guys guess what it is? It's the electric XP. Uh oh, Mama doesn't even know I got this yet. I gotta go hide it. I'll be right back. That baby helping. <laughs> Little bit. Well, it looks like somebody's excited trying to get into this box. There's no dog bone in here, no chewy. Adventure groupies, mama came home and busted me. She saw the box. She actually, she saw me where? I saw you on, I was getting my hair done and my camera kept going off, so I look on the camera and here he is dragging that big old box. So and she... I'm like, that must be his Father's Day gift because it's <laughs> awful big. And when she got home, first thing she said, babe, <laughs> what'd you get? I didn't get it for Arrow. I said, I got it for you, babe. This is but something we both- he did not get it for yes. me. So while Arrow's sniffing around trying to get in there, I think this is a good time to have a cup of have coffee. Have a cup of coffee. And it's 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Excuse All right, their dirty garage. Let's get in here. Arrow. Let's, let's see what we got. Let's, let's unpackage this thing. I guarantee you Freya's not in here. All right. She don't like boxes. Hang on, you're gonna get your Yeah, you oh, got come here. Let me get that out of your mouth. Come here. That's uh, got staples on it. Oh. So yes, I got the XP model. And boy, there's a lot of pieces parts in here. I, I... Wow. Where do you begin? Where the instructions tell you to. <laughs> We, Here, I, we don't need no stinking instructions. No, no, no. Let's go. All right, leave it. Yes, leave it. It's packaged well. It's got a lot of foam inserts in here. What color did you get? White? You'll see. I do see. You do see? Right there where your hand is. Oh, okay. Nice. There we go. <laughs> there he goes. Hey. Get over here. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. <laughs> he gone. Oh, there's Freya. Hey, Boomer. She's like, nope. Go get that phone. Arrow. Go get it. Go so get what it. I got here, here is the XP model that actually folds in half. And the reason I... All right. Get the box. Hey, go get the plastic thing. I got the big comfy seat for Mama. Arrow, go get it. For the butt? My big butt? No. Perfect. For my butt. Mm -hmm. 
Good job. Thank you. Up. Arrow out. Out. Thanks, buddy. Good job. It's even got front shocks. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It does fold up really small, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Are they all like that? No. Just the, uh, this one, the XP, that's foldable. Oh, okay. The other ones don't fold. Okay. But I figured this way it's compact. And easier to carry in the yep. van. Easier to carry. Yeah, the weight is about 50 pounds. Is that the handlebars? Yeah. Nice. At least you're not having to put parts together. It's just like unfolding it and getting it things right. in place, right? It says your cable, spokes, and chain will stretch after initial break-in period of 50 to 100 miles and bolted connections can loosen. Always have a reputable bike mechanic. That would be me. <laughs> uh, tune up your bike after your initial break-in period. Regular inspections and tune-ups are very important to ensure your bike remains safe and fun to ride. Wow, fun. Mm. Woohoo! Where's the basket? Uh, they're coming in a different shipment. Oh, I got you. What is the side thing on this side? The black thing right there. What thing? On this side where you just clicked it in. That's the charge port. Oh. Oh, wow. Yep. And the pedals fold down. The pedals. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. Keeps them from getting broken. There's off. another set of pedals coming that... Uh, pedals or pegs? Pegs for dry riders. I got you. They're in another shipment. Not for you. Arrow. All right, all these are little stickers to tell you, hey, do not exceed the maximum payload. According to the payload, you can't have more than 150 pounds in the back. That's a lot of pounds. Yeah, that's a lot of pounds. That ain't me. <laughs> we, we're, you're going to have to get two. But uh, yeah, the baskets and the pegs are coming in yeah. a separate shipment. So I read the instructions, I mean the instructions, and they said to plug the unit in and charge the battery on the first use. It may take up to three to seven hours to charge up the battery. And the battery port is on the side here of the bike. You can charge it inside the bike as well as pulling the battery out. You do have a set of keys that I just learned about. And I'm thinking, okay, where's the ignition switch? And the ignition switch or the on off switch is actually located at the bottom of the bike. And this ignition, this lock is not there. Hang on, my girl. And man, be wise to come and check before you start. Oh, here we go. We got the manager. <laughs> What'd you drop it now? <clears throat> People are gonna laugh and be like, "Does he know what he's doing?" Nope. Nope. Because we just bought it. And yeah, the switch is here. That's what I thought. Oh, wow. So this unlocks the battery and it also turns the unit off. So if somebody wanted to steal the bike, um, they could try to pedal it, but there's not gonna be any power. So this is an on off switch to the electrics. It's also a switch uh, or lock for the battery to come out. And we're going to make sure we're going to push it all the 
No one was hurt in the making of this Nobody video. Nobody was hurt in the making of this thing, except my pride. <laughs> Come on. Gotta pull the key out. And there's the battery. Jikes. Now, Oh, put the battery there and kind of show you how this do you have to take the battery out to fold it no okay but i want to take the battery inside the house to charge so i can watch it okay because if it's out here in the garage i can't see the light turn green it says you can only leave it plugged in for one hour extra after it turns green but um i'll show you how this folds up so you have a clamp on this side you also have one here on this side. Like a seat clamp. Like a seat clamp. Babe, you think maybe you should have tried that before you start a video? Hey, you learn as you go. I read the instructions and now I'm gonna read the instructions again. No, there's a lot. You pull up on this thing and then this goes like so. <laughs> So this folds down like so. So cool. And then this pedal pushes in and up, pushes in and up. And then this folds like so. so you can store it however you want. We'll figure out a better way to store it, but this is how it uh, collapses down. Leave your comments below if you think he should have tried it before we make oh, the video. Oh, <laughs> listen here, girl. <laughs> this is what we call live. <laughs> it is not live. And there you go. <laughs> so the next video we're going to show is us riding it once we get the battery charged. Stay tuned. One of the things I want to mention about these electric batteries is it does have the switch, as I was indicating in the video. And um, when it's inside the bike, if it's turned this direction, this pin comes out and locks the battery in place. You have to have this key in the on position to even have the run of the electrical system on the bike. So while you're riding, the key remains in. But when you pull the key out, the keeper pin is still there, so the battery can't be stolen, but no electronics would be on. And then to remove the battery, you just turn it that direction, pull the key, and then the battery slides out. We are going to put the battery in the bike. Why are you talking weird? <laughs> <laughs> like a professor. Oh. I thought it went the other way. No, because the key's right there at the bottom. Dang. Maya should have tried this before we start videoing. <laughs> To have it at the right angle. Yep. It sounds like Donkey Kong. And this clicks it. And let's see. We have power on the LCD screen. Come on over here. Ooh. You can't see the sun's too bright. There we go. It is on. <laughs> All right.
right. I guess you gotta leave the key in there. Let's try this again. Well, that would make sense, though. If you think about it. What makes sense? Leaving the key in it. It'd be just like turning something on and like off. Like an ignition. Didn't switch. matter. Yeah, I'll take my key out of my ignition switch, right? Okay. Boy. All right, girl. Just ride that back. I'm gonna ride the bike. Whoop, whoop. You gotta let your kickstand up first. I gotta let this kickstand up first. Other side. Other side. Yes, supervisor. <laughs> All right, I didn't read any instructions, so this will be interesting. Nope, he didn't. We're gonna go for it. Do you even know how to make it go? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. Babe, why didn't you YouTube it? I did. I hate to admit this epic fail, but we'll keep it in the video segment. As you'll see, I forgot to remove some packing material from inside the tire area. Do you got the brake on? No. Oh, that's right. Because you didn't take all the stuff it off? Yep. Help us, Lord. Oh, Jesus. How about that knock it over? Okay. Come on. I love it. That's smart though to keep it from moving. Alright. Extra packing material. I wonder where that noise was coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Snap of your finger and it takes us a minute. <laughs> there he is. Good job, babe. <laughs> Doing donuts. I'm pretty sure that is not going to do a donut. Well, the cameras just alerted me that there is movement in my driveway today. I looked and I saw a FedEx truck pulling up into my driveway. And noticing that the driver is actually unloading two boxes. And those two boxes are important for the next segment of this video. Well, hello adventure groupies. You know... My wife caught me get the electric bike. I what? You caught me. I caught you. Yeah, you caught me. You said, what is this? Yeah. And I said, it was my Father's Day gift. Yes. And then she wrote it. And she says, where's mine? <laughs> so yes, we do have now two electric bikes, two Father's Day gifts. They were on sale, so it was a really good deal. Uh, the black one is mine. And the white one is Belinda's. The black one I put on a uh, seat for my grandkids to ride along with me when we go visit them. And we still have baskets that still have to come. So there's still some stuff being sent in shipment. And then I researched and uh, for a bike rag to be used for the electric bikes. And I know there's many out there, but I chose the Hollywood Racks system. It's set up to handle this type of weight for the electric bikes. And the hitch can be used on my SUV when we just want to go out biking. And I am now going to check to see if this hitch 
if it's Frankie, because Frankie has a spare tire in the back and I'm hoping the hitch comes out far enough without hitting the uh, spare tire. But you know what? We'll find that out and I'll let you know. Stay tuned. Fred. All right, Houston, we have a problem. The Hollywood bike rack. It's Houston. <laughs> Houston is down south, baby. Isn't that where you're from? <laughs> Anyways, um, the Hollywood rack. The old problem with Frankie. Once it's in the hitch, the spare tire and this uh, storage case is very close to the bike. You can see from the rails here, it'll hit the tire and the storage rack. So we have a fix for that. Sometimes things don't go well when videoing. And this is another example of another blooper that my wife wanted to keep in this video. The eight inch extension. We got a fix for that. We got to have bloopers. <laughs> we have the 8 inch extension. And by putting that in there, now when we uh, stick the rack in, to the back of the uh, spare tire. So there we go. Problem solved. Houston, <laughs> we don't have a problem anymore. In my previous video, it made it look like it was difficult to get the battery inside this device. But actually, the bike folds in this direction and has a kickstand on it. So the kickstand helps for loading the battery. Once the battery is in place, you can lock it in place with the key. And then just refold the battery, fold the uh, bike back out again. Let's do it. Well, Mama, we got ourselves a cover for the bikes. This thing is covered from top to bottom. It's zippered, it's got reflectors, and it comes with lights for the blinkers and stop lights. There's the wire, comes with a cargo net place for a license plate and there is a uh, boot that goes over the uh, front hitch area to keep it from letting water come up underneath so it's actually zippered all the way around so this bike rack is fully protected and then there's arrow sleeping on the job hey you're supposed to be watching a couple of problems that I have found with this cover is the uh, there is a hole that rubbed through and I only use this cover once and it was close to where the uh, hitch is located so that's the back side the other thing I noticed is the uh, inside insulation material it started rubbing off this plastic coating I ordered another one from Amazon. In reviewing issues with the cover that could possibly be torn, uh, some YouTube guys recommended putting another cover underneath the large cover. So I got this uh, waterproof material cover that I will slip on the uh, bike, bikes, 
it's a smooth material and then I'll put the uh, other cover back on we'll trust it and see if it also rips well Arrow, what do you think <laughs> you like your little mini coop we still got to get the wheels on you ready to go for a ride Product from Vibor.